This here is the large tooth sawfish. Once upon a time, it could be found in rivers and coastal waters in many locations around the world. But now, mainly because of overfishing, there aren't so many around. Northern Australia is one of the last places on earth where they are still found in good numbers. This video will show you how you can save a swordfish by getting it safely back into the water if you accidentally catch one on a line or in a net. Here's what to do if you hook one while fishing with a rod or hand line. After you reel the sawfish in, you want to get the hook out and get it back into the water as quickly as you can. If you have to pick him up to move him to a safe place, carefully use one hand to hold his head at the base of the rostrum, like this. But not too tight, be careful of his eyes. Use your other hand to hold his tail like this. Hold it firmly, because he won't like you grabbing him. Don't pick it up like this, you could hurt it. Sometimes it helps to hold the sawfish like this. But if it's a big one, you might need some help. Once you've found a safe spot, put him down gently. Don't kneel or stand on him. Roll him onto his side, resting him on his dorsal fin. This will help keep him calm. Keep hold of him by his head like this. Now you can get to the hook. With pliers or something similar, pull out the hook from its mouth. Try to do it in one go. Remember, we don't want to hurt it any more than we have to. If you can't reach the hook or it's too far down, cut the line as close to the mouth as you can without hurting it. Now you can untangle the line from the base of the rostrum away from you. If it's too tangled, you might need to use something to cut it. When you catch the sawfish in a throw net, get him to a safe spot. Then like before, roll him on his side. Start untangling the net from the base of the rostrum outward, keeping your hand holding his rostrum firm. If it's too tricky, you might need to use something to carefully cut the net. Now that you've untangled the sawfish free from the net or the fishing line, it's time to release him. Holding it firm like before, lift him up carefully and take the sawfish to some shallow water. Gently release him in. But wait, one more thing. Make sure there is no danger like nets or crocodiles around. Don't throw it. That's it. Watch it as he swims away ready to make even more sawfish.